Hey guys, so I am doing a super big book haul today. I think I'm gonna call it my birthday book haul, but this is not really just stuff I got for my birthday. This is kind of a collective haul over the past few months. I think I started buying this stuff like at the end of May. I did treat myself a bit for my birthday, which was in June. Um, I did get a couple of gifts as well. This haul is excessive, let's just be real. But I mean, you know, I don't want anyone to watch this video and be like, oh my god, she probably spent all of her money on this stuff. I really didn't. I had a couple of kind of special circumstances around the time of my birthday. I ended up getting my tax refund and I also ended up getting a temp job, which was completely unexpected. And even with buying all of the stuff that I'm about to show you, I still put back a lot of money in savings. So I didn't just blow all of my money. I know I don't have to explain myself, but I feel like I should before I do a big haul like this. But I do have a lot to show you. And because of that, I'm going to try not to talk too much about each individual book. So forgive me if I'm kind of going quickly through all of these things. So here we go. We're just gonna, we're just gonna do it. So these first couple of things were actually gifts that were given to me. So I figured I would start with those since this is kind of my birthday haul. So my dad let me pick out a book when we were at Walmart. The book that I picked out was Saint Anything by Sarah Dessen. This is her newest one. Everyone had been talking about it, posting pictures of it, and I was just like, I need it. These next two things were sent to me by Cameron from Book Movie Guy, who's like my best friend. If you guys are not subscribed to him, like what are you doing with your life? I'm gonna link him down below, of course. You need to go check him out and subscribe to him. First book that he sent me is Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. I assume that's how you say her last name. He also got me, because he's amazing, Throne of Glass, which this is a book that I've actually already read and it's one of my favorite series. It's just, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, I just love it. I love these covers and Purple is my favorite color, so I love it. So now we're just moving on to things that I bought for myself. Some of it was bought with birthday money, but I just can't remember which ones I bought with birthday money. So I decided to go ahead and pick up Crown of Midnight because I want to collect this whole series in the hardcovers. And I actually also bought Air of Fire, but it's like damaged and I'm upset about it. So I'm sending it back. They're gonna give me a refund and then I'm gonna buy it again. So you guys will see it in a later haul video, I guess. This next thing is actually also damaged and I just contacted the book depository about it. So I don't know if I'm gonna have to send it back, but I have it for now. But that is Slammed by Colleen Hoover. And this is the UK edition because the American covers are pretty horrendous in my opinion. Um, but as you can see the spine up at the top, it's like smashed and torn and the bottom's kind of messed up too. So next we have Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover as well. I'm definitely wanting to read more of her books. This one is very pretty. I really like the cover. And the next one that I bought by her is probably the one that I'm most excited about and that is Confess and I feel like I'm just gonna love this book. Another author that I kind of went on a buying rampage with is Patrick Ness and Pretty much the reason for this buying rampage was just the fact that I follow him on Twitter and he seems like the most awesome person ever. And I love his view on things and I just feel like I'm going to love his books. So I bought four of them. <laughs> this first one I got from Book Outlet. It was really cheap and that is The Crane Wife. And I believe that this is his only adult novel, I think, at the moment. The next thing I bought by him, I got from Amazon and that is The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. We have A Monster Calls. Not only is the actual cover itself gorgeous, but the book. Look at the book. Look at it. Oh my gosh. The last thing by him is also gorgeous. It is more than this and I've been lusting after this book for a very long time. I definitely wanted the hardcover just because it's just so cool and I love hardcovers that have the designs right on the book itself instead of a dust jacket. I believe these are called Turtlebacks. Landline by Rainbow Rowell who is my favorite author and I have to own all of her books so I was waiting specifically for the paperback because it's really really nice. It looks a lot better than the hardcover I think so I picked it up, pre-ordered it. This next book I went back and forth on whether I wanted to get it or not but I finally just gave in and that is I'll Meet You There by Heather Demetrios. It just seems like a really fun contemporary. It's something I really wanted to read this summer specifically so I bought it. Next I picked up The Good Luck of Right Now by Matthew Quick. I wanted this specific cover because they've changed the cover now and it's okay but it's not as beautiful as this cover right here. So I have been wanting this cover for a long time and I just decided to go for it. The spine is like, it doesn't seem like it really matches the book, but you know, it's all good. I picked up The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky, one of my favorite books of all time, but I never bought it because I hate the American cover. It's just, 
yeah it's not very appealing in my opinion but I love this cover which I assume is the UK edition I'm not really sure I picked up two of the penguin little black classic books which I have wanted ever since they came out the first one I have here is a pair of silk stockings by Kate is it Chopin I'm just I'm just guessing that's really bad I should know that but I've been wanting to try some of her work for a very long time I also picked up The Night is Darkening Around Me by Emily Bronte, which I'm so looking forward to because I recently read Wuthering Heights and I really loved the writing in it. So I've been wanting something else by her. This next thing is so beautiful. I'm so happy I got it. And it is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, but it's in the Penguin Drop Caps edition. And it's still got the plastic on it. So I'm actually gonna take the plastic off real quick. I didn't want to take the plastic off until I'd hauled it. Here's the front without the plastic on, the spine, which is like, whoa, so neon. And then the back, which has a quote from the book. And then the pages, which is my favorite part of this whole line, is that they're colored pages to match the book. Oh my gosh, I love this. The Tenant of Wildfell Hall, which is by Anne Bronte. I really wanted to try one of her works. So this is the um, Penguin English Library edition. I've always wanted one of those so this is my first one and I really like this one and then of course it has the orange on the spine like all of the English library editions do. These next two books are both Virago Modern Classics editions and I just kind of recently discovered these editions and I have become obsessed with them. First one is Angel by Elizabeth Taylor which I can't believe I'm holding in my hands. This was really hard to get a hold of. This is a pretty rare edition. I love the design and the spines are really cool. The next one I picked up in these editions is Jamaica Inn by Daphne du Maurier and I mean obviously it's gorgeous. I love the color and the design. There's the spine on that one. These are the two editions side by side. Really love the looks of those. This next one I got from Book Outlet. It is My Wishlist by Gregory Delacourt. It's really short, so it'll be a fast read. This might be a good one for a readathon. Next, we have To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han, and I'm actually currently reading this one. This was a total random pickup. Like, I was not planning on ever buying this book, but for some reason, I just really got in the mood to read it. So. Yeah, I bought it and then immediately picked it up and started reading it. Next, I picked up the fourth book in the Princess Diary series. This is Princess in Waiting by Meg Cabot, of course. I like just finished listening to this on audiobook, so I just, I wanted to own it because I'm collecting the whole series. I got that from Book Outlet, by the way, as well as this next one. We have The Last Time We Say Goodbye by Cynthia Hand. Um, I love Cynthia's Unearthly series, and I was so excited to hear she was coming out with a new book. This next book is so random. I'd never even heard of this book before until like a couple days before I bought it, but that is Interstellar Cinderella. It is a children's picture book. Um, I have just been wanting to buy more picture books. I saw this one and knew I had to have it. First of all, I love the story of Cinderella, and I also love like the Lunar Chronicles, which is basically Cinderella, but in space, which is like what this is, and obviously the artwork. I mean, look at this thing. So fantastic. I cannot wait to flip through this. It just looks so adorable. I picked up two more Sarah Dessen books because, you know, it wouldn't be a regular birthday without buying at least a couple Sarah Dessen books. I always end up buying her books on my birthday, but she is one of my favorite authors, so there's that. This first book I picked up is The Truth About Forever, which is the one I've already read, but I'm wanting to collect all of her books in the new covers, so that's what I did and this was only like five dollars on Amazon so I don't know why it was so cheap but I snatched it up while I could. There's a little bit of something on the side but whatever. I actually ended up getting the same exact book for my birthday last year but in a different edition. That book is The Moon and More. I wanted the US cover because it's so beautiful and now it will match all my other Sarah Dessen books so Next I picked up Smart Girls Get What They Want, which is by Sarah Strohmeyer. I think I got it for like $3. I recently read her other book, um, How Zoe Made Her Dreams Mostly Come True. Fell in love with it, so I wanted something else to have to read by her. So, And I really like the hardcover edition. I just think it's really cute. So there's that. I bought the first three books in the A Wrinkle in Time series. I guess is what the series is called. The first book is of course A Wrinkle in Time and I bought this one from Amazon for like six dollars. So cheap. And then I bought books two and three from Book Outlet for like three dollars a piece. Let's see this is book two which is A Wind in the Door and then book three A Swiftly Tilting Planet. 
Next, I bought my very first manga. This is Death Note Volume 1 in the black edition, which is so stunning because black pages. I kind of have a thing for colored pages, if you haven't noticed. So, um, yeah, that's what it looks like. And I'm really looking forward to trying this out. Next from Book Outlet, I picked up two books from one of my favorite authors of all time because eventually I want to collect all of her books. I've already read both of these but I wanted to own them. So I got The Last Forever by Deb Coletti and then I picked up The Story of Us by Deb Coletti as well. And yeah, I really loved this one too. I mean, she's she's an amazing author and I feel like she is so underhyped. Like you guys have got to go check her out. If you love YA contemporary, she is one of the absolute best. So definitely go read her books. I picked up two books by Cecilia A. Hearn from Book Outlet. So we have The Time of My Life, which is really, really nice. And I believe, I think it's kind of, I think it's a UK edition. Yeah, it is, because it's kind of more of a stiff paperback, but it's really pretty. I like it a lot. And then this hardcover is like, whoa, so gorgeous. This is 100 Names. Look at that. Look how pretty. I love it. I didn't even know that this is what it looked like. And it's really cool, because it's got a cutout on the front as well. She writes adult contemporary though but her books have a touch of magical realism as well which um is very cool so I she's just her writing is so refreshing another author that I feel is so refreshing she's a great adult author who writes contemporary but it also has a touch of magic in her books as well and that is Sarah Addison Allen so I picked up Lost Lake and it's also like that velvety matte uh, which is like my favorite kind of cover so we're getting to the home stretch here guys. All right, I picked up Second Chance Summer, which is by Morgan Matson, and I've read two of her books now, but she only has three out at the moment. So this will be the last book of hers that I'll read that's published. Really looking forward to this one. I've heard it's really good and I don't doubt it because her other books were amazing. This next one was actually sent to me by the publisher for review. So I really need to read it like ASAP. And that is I Take You by Eliza Kennedy absolutely no idea what it's about. This next book was one of my number one books I wanted for my birthday so I got it from Book Outlet for so cheap and I was just so excited about it and that is The Museum of Intangible Things by Wendy Wonder who wrote The Probability of Miracles which is one of the most underrated YA books ever so I'm so excited to read her newest book. Also from Book Outlet I picked up Ashes to Ashes by Jenny Han and Siobhan Vivian. This is the third and final book in the Burn for Burn trilogy. Then this next book I actually bought like at the beginning of May and just I never had a chance to haul it but that is The Martian by Andy Weir. I can't wait to read this. There's so much hype around this book and now the movie is going to be coming out. We have the last three books here. I can't believe it. So these last three books are all from thriftbooks.com. I bought them at different times, but um, I got them so cheap, which is really exciting. They're not in the best condition, but what can you expect when you pay a couple of dollars for a book? The first one is The Iron King by Julie Kagawa, which I've read this entire series years ago. One of my favorites and I just never owned the books. So I'm going to be slowly collecting them. I also picked up How to Breathe Underwater by Julie Oringer, and this is a collection of short stories. I picked this up solely because of Mercedes from Mercy's Bookish Musings. She talks so highly of this short story collection and just what she had to say about it made me feel like I would also love it. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. So the very last book that I have is Falling Up by Shel Silverstein. I want to own all of his books, especially his poetry books. They were my favorite growing up and I'm so mad that I got rid of all of them, but I'm recollecting them and this is the first poetry book of his that I have and I cannot wait to read this and like relive my childhood, like seriously. So that is it for the books. We are finally done. Thank you guys for watching all of this if you did and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, Jesus. Synopsis is that is that the correct term? We're sent to be by Wow Thunder, thank you. Next I picked up I actually just finished reading this book. Is this the fourth or the third? Oh, I'm so confused. But I'm wanting to collect I'm getting close to the end, you guys, I swear. No, we're not. Why did I even say that? I bought the first three books. I didn't mean to do that that loud. I can't, wow, this video is, 
it's probably an hour long like seriously 